For me, my cooking is, is a bit of art involved. Food is so fascinating because it's ever changing. Every day you can learn something new. You never stop learning. I think the cornerstone of good cooking is to source the best produce. When you have the freshest and the best produce, you're already halfway there. A lot of chefs, they work with an inferior product and they're behind before they even get started. The better the product is, the more victory you can have. We're about to have our burrata with some fresh heirloom tomatoes, some striped Germans, they're called really cool tomatoes. Some really nice olive oil, very uh, fruity, delicate flavors, basil, some semi-dry tomatoes as well. That's the first course. I've been cooking for uh, close to 30 years now. Uh, I've been really fortunate to work with a lot of amazing people in different countries around the world. Second course was teaching people how to make salads and the importance of making a good dressing and what you can achieve when you have a good base, how you can go into your refrigerator and pull everything out and throw it into that base and end up with a, quite a nice meal. Surprise salads, if you like. Today is about mixing up different textures and flavors together. Crispy fruits, vegetables, to give a really interesting salad. But this meal um, is all about fresh and putting everything together at the last minute. My job as a chef is um, doing things as late as possible. Third course, to go with that salad, we had some pot prawns. And spot prawns, there's only a couple of people in California that have a license to fish them. One of them is Pearson's Port. They're very good friends of mine, Teresa and Tommy, they're local fishermen. And yesterday, Tommy went out and caught these prawns and they're delicate, very beautiful, like sweet lobster. Some salmon from Tasmania, pretty close to where I come from. We we're just gonna sear that and serve that on some crispy potatoes and some grilled peppers and some greens. The power of the table is the whole reason why I do what I do. I love to get different people from different countries together at the table. I feel like all the cultural barriers get broken down and people get to share on a deep level about who they are when they're really relaxed and enjoying the fellowship of good food. Then we took some big portobello mushrooms and we sauteed some baby onions and some roasted garlic and some butter and sort of capped those mushrooms and baked them. We served that with a beef tenderloin. We crusted that with herbs and a little bit of spice and we sliced off that tenderloin and just served that medium rare. But our heart was always been to help people that needed help. Following the call of God on our life, we ended up, went to Idaho started working with a not-for-profit over there, develop a training program, walk with 450 refugees into jobs. And in the last two years, I worked for a lady called Deidre Pujols, helped her to start a culinary program here, opening training kitchens in Cambodia, Mumbai, Moldova, Mexico City, and here. And seeing people like in Mumbai coming from the slums, and then coming through our training program and then ending up in five-star hotels. That's pretty exciting. And that's followed with a dessert, a chocolate caramel tart. It's quite a difficult one to make because the pastry is made with almond meal and very delicate pastry just to get the caramel to sit in there and then to put the ganache on top. That was gonna be served with some nectarines and some poached stone fruits. And then we top off the meal with some international cheeses from around the world. And they're served with some stewed fruits, some compote of figs and apricots, some baby grapes, some olives, sort of like sweet, salty, sour all on there. Some different textured cheeses. There's a triple filter brie there from France. There's a gorgonzola dolce from Italy, manchigo, and also a, a very elegant Wisconsin cheddar and that was served with some fresh crissinis. Cooking for me is just such a beautiful part of life and I encourage people to, to spend more time having food with friends and 
inviting people they don't know to the table because I feel like that's where God meets us, at the table.